The bond between humans and animals is undeniable. After all, we're animals too, just more advanced and able to walk on two legs. However, when a human is pictured with an animal, it's typically a dog or cat or some other domesticated creature. What about the animals that aren't as cute or cuddly? Or the ones that could severely injure you? Or the ones that make your skin crawl? They need love too. These are the strangest animals you have never seen before. Here's a word of advice. Do not let these cute little fuzzy insects crawl on you because they sting and they sting hard. Although they're called panda ants, they are actually wasps. The females have no wings, which makes them look like ants. Although they are sometimes called cow killer ants, they actually don't have the most painful or deadly sting of all species. These adorable furry panda ants normally live for about two years, which is pretty short. When we hear the word rodent, the first thing that comes to mind is rats. Well, empty your mind of everything you know about rodents. Well, not everything. <laughs> This next animal is called a capybara. It lives in South American wetlands and forests, and it is the largest living rodent in the world. The larger capybaras can grow up to 4.3 feet long and weigh up to 174 pounds. Despite their size and weight, these animals are actually very tame and shy creatures. They can also be trained and are said to make very good outside pets. So, these animals are cute, furry, docile, and make good pets. What's wrong with them? Well, nothing major except they eat their own poop. It is believed to be a way for them to get all the nutrients they need. And animals normally have a hard time digesting grass so the capybaras basically eat it twice. I guess you could say that's clever? Now, I know what you're thinking, but this is not a porcupine. Although it does look quite similar, this animal is actually not related to the porcupine at all. It is known as a monotreme which is just a fancy way of saying it's a mammal that lays eggs. Can you guys think of any other monotremes? Here's a hint. He's Dr. Doofenshmirtz's arch nemesis. If you guessed Perry the platypus, you're correct. The echidna is the only other living egg-laying mammal besides the platypus. It also has no teeth, so it has to slurp its food using its super long tongue. And here's another weird fact that you didn't ask for. Male echidnas have a four-headed penis. Only two of the heads are active during mating, but you know what they say, two heads are better than one. This next animal may look like a manatee, but that's because it's the manatee's cousin. The dugong is commonly referred to as the sea cow and can be found in oceans and seas, while the manatee lives in freshwater environments like lakes and rivers. In fact, dugongs are actually considered the inspiration for mermaids. Despite their large size, they are actually quite docile animals who spend most of their time peacefully grazing along the seafloor and eating seagrass. If you ever decide to swim with a dugong, just make sure you don't touch them or flap around too hard in the water. Dugongs can be easily disturbed or frightened by people, and if they have an unpleasant encounter, they'll just swim away 
and they may choose never to come back to that place or to avoid people. This next animal might be small, but don't underestimate it. The mantis shrimp is actually one of the most common predators in subtropical and tropical waters. They have powerful claws that can crack, smash, and stun their prey. When a mantis shrimp attacks a human, it causes deep, painful wounds, tissue loss, and heavy bleeding. They can also cut through someone's finger in just seconds, and the larger ones can even break through aquarium glass. It is said that the mantis shrimp generates roughly the same force as a 22 caliber bullet that has just been fired from a gun. On the bright side, a human has never been killed by a mantis shrimp, and those who have been attacked have all recovered. This next animal might be nice to look at, but there is so much more to it than just its beauty. The Glaucus atlanticus is a species of blue sea slug. It is also sometimes called the blue dragon or the blue glaucus. This animal is able to float on the water's surface because of a gas bubble that's stored inside its stomach. It floats on its back and the bright blue color camouflages it so that flying predators can't see it. Meanwhile, their grayish backs blend in with the sea surface and that makes it hard for predators in the water to see them. This is known as countershading and just goes to show how smart this little creature is. One of the most interesting things about blue dragons is their venom. They don't actually produce their own poison. What they do is, they eat animals like the Portuguese man of war or the purple snail, and then recycle their stinging cells for use later on. Now that's what I call killing two birds with one stone. Popular Disney Channel cartoon Kim Possible made us all believe that naked mole rats were these cute little creatures. Well, here is what an actual naked mole rat looks like. It doesn't just look weird, it is weird too. Unlike most other mammals, they are cold-blooded. In fact, they cannot maintain a steady body temperature, and instead of generating their own heat, they regulate body temperature by moving to warmer or cooler tunnels. And of course, we can't forget those beautiful teeth. Naked mole rats can actually move their front teeth independently, spreading them apart and moving them together like a pair of chopsticks. So, are you freaked out yet? The Axolotl is known as the Mexican salamander. It got its name from Xolotl, the Aztec god of fire and lightning, who had the ability to morph into a salamander. The most unique thing about this animal is that it can regrow almost any of its body parts, including their spines, hearts, and brains. And here's something even more interesting. They can accept limbs and organs that were transplanted from other asholots without risk of rejection. These traits have made them the perfect subjects for medical research. Most asholots are black or brown, but some have white skin with pink or red gills. Is it weird that I find them kinda cute? If regular-sized bats weren't creepy enough for you, I'd like to introduce the Mega Bat. This golden-crowned flying fox is the largest species of bat in the world and was recently spotted in the Philippines. These bats have a wingspan of 5.58 feet, which is more than the average woman's height. 
even though they have a gigantic wingspan, their bodies don't grow to be that big. So these bats are not actually human sized like people think. And before you start freaking out, this bat is a herbivore. So it only eats fruits and vegetables, not humans. I guarantee that you've never seen camouflage skills like this before. As the name suggests, the satanic leaf-tailed gecko has a flattened tail that looks exactly like a leaf. This helps it to blend in with its surroundings and hide from predators. This animal is native to Madagascar, and even though it has satanic in the name, it's actually a gentle reptile that enjoys taking naps in the forest. But let's be honest, this gecko is so skillful that not only does its tail look like a leaf, but so does its entire body. Just change the name to Satanic Leaf Gecko already. Every woman has that special tube of red lipstick that ties their whole look together. Well, this next animal doesn't need lipstick because its lips are naturally bright red. The red-lipped batfish is completely unique to the Galapagos Islands and cannot be found anywhere else in the world. Although it lives in the water, this batfish is actually not that great of a swimmer. However, they use their specialized fins to walk along the seafloor. Scientists are still not sure what causes their lips to be this vivid crimson color, but what we are sure of is that this fish will always remind us of this iconic scene from Spongebob. If you thought king crabs were huge, wait till you see this next crustacean. The Japanese spider crab has a leg span of 12 to 13 feet, which is bigger than all other arthropods. Although their legs are extremely long, they are also quite weak, which makes it very easy for them to get injured. They may also have the longest lifespan of any other crab, as some of them live to be a hundred years old. As they get older, their bodies get too big for their shells and they have to get rid of them. This process is called molting and it happens every few years. The process can take hours, but once it's done, the spider crab emerges from its shell with a larger body and skin that is soft until their new shell hardens. And don't worry, these crabs may look terrifying, but they're actually pretty friendly and are said to be gentle. Have you ever been staring at a frog and thinking, I wish I could see what's inside? Well, today's your lucky day. These glass frogs have see-through skin on their abdomens that allow you to see all of their guts and all of their glory. There are 156 known species of glass frogs living mainly in the Northern Andes and Central America. And scientists aren't just fascinated with this animal because of the way it looks. Some species are even smaller than a paperclip. These next creatures look like something that you'd see in a sci-fi movie, but they are very much real, which makes them even scarier. These are isopods, or in simpler terms, a group of marine animals without backbones that belong to the crustacean family. These humongous isopods are examples of deep sea gigantism at its finest. There are also several theories about why they're so big. The most popular assumption is that they do not have many predators because they live deep down in the sea 
and this allows them to safely grow to a larger size. Just like other crustaceans, they have a very hard shell on the outside, but they actually don't have that much meat. In fact, they have less meat than a crab, so not many animals are interested in eating them. But if you're interested in eating them, here's some good news. They can be eaten. In Asian countries like Japan, they normally steam the legs and the body for consumption. As terrifying as they may look, they are crustaceans after all, and kinda taste like crab. Snakes have always been the animal of choice for those making sexual jokes and comparisons to a man's you-know-what. But this recently discovered rare species is about to take those jokes to a whole new level. Although this creature is not a snake, it has been called penis snake by many people, and I'm sure you can see why. It is actually a worm-like, noodle-shaped amphibian, and it was found in Brazil. And if you think this is the only unusual creature that closely resembles part of the male anatomy, think again. There's the fat innkeeper worm, the Pacific gooey duck, and we can't forget the Priapolita. Who knew nature was filled with so many organisms shaped like a phallus? Which one of the animals in this video would you play with? Let us know in the comments below. If you made it to the end of this video, that can only mean one thing. You are seriously into some weird-ish. So go ahead and press that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more weird content just like this.